Hey guys, this is Brandon from Repairadise. We are in an undisclosed location somewhere in southern Utah. And we have finished a uh, Airstream remodel rebuild for some clients. They've agreed to meet us for a camping weekend, which has been really fun. And we've got the trailer set up and we're gonna do a walkthrough to show you what we did for these guys. So let's check it out. So you can see immediately that we've left this one unpolished. We left the original patina from 1973 on here. It kind of gives it that sleeper look. And uh, of course you don't have the maintenance of keeping up with polish for the rest of your life, which is nice. Um, but we uh, added the electronic Zipti awning. So this is your um, nice modern convenience added to this guy. Just push of a button and the sucker pops out instead of having to manually sit there and fight with it. Um, as you can see, it holds pretty steady in the wind that we have today. On top of that, we've got a, an array of solar on the roof to absorb the nice southern Utah sun. We've got new axles, wheels, tires. We pulled the body. We redid the chassis. New water tanks, the works on this thing. So the fun stuff's actually inside. So I'd like to take you inside and check this thing out. So immediately you can see how bright and airy this thing is. This is all new skin, but it's all been painted white. And then the solid surface countertops, bright white gray uh, finishes on the cabinetry, distressed wood, light flooring, really give it a nice, you know, contemporary, open, airy feel to everything. So we've tried to keep it very streamlined feeling so we don't have any upper cabinets. So you get this nice flow from the rear to the front a giant bed in the back. It's almost a king size and it's 14 inches thick. So you actually get a really nice, good sleep on this thing, especially compared to some of these other mattresses that you get with modern RVs. As you move into the bathroom, you see this cool contrast with the teak floor and the teak seat right there that really sets off the uh, glass tile that we have on the wall and the other white components. Some of the other details in the bathroom, top mounted vessel sink. That's actually a, an electronic toilet. If you want to know what an electric toilet is, you just have to look it up on the internet. Uh, I don't have time today to explain all the awesomeness behind it. <laughs> and then even some of the details like the handles. This is all a handmade uh, door frame, aluminum door frame that we uh, bent and welded up in the shop Repairadise. As you come through some of the other little repair dice details that add to the overall finishing touches being that much more than what you can pick up off a production line is stuff like our switches that are throughout that are all handmade in the shop. Our toggle switches, everything of course is on dimmers, uh, even our uh, edging, you know, bit in the shop with little details like the flathead screws puck lighting throughout. And even though we did away with uh, uh, the full closet that was in here before and the upper cabinets, um, this still has an unbelievable amount of storage in here. You just got, you know, door after door after drawer and just on and on, like all, th all through under the seating is storage, more storage. So, once you uh, change up an original floor plan by removing um, these large areas that people think they need to be able to stuff stuff in, it's like, what can I do with the space to be able to you know, store my stuff? So being able to keep it below eye level and everything above it open um, gives it a, a way more grand feel in here, but still being able to have you know plenty of area to store some stuff and even some cool little space savers like this side area for pans so it's just getting fun and inventive with with the space then up front we, we have our traditional um, dinette area we love these uh, push of the button table bases that breaks it down into the bed position and this is a nice big front end and a nice big table so once the uh, cushions break down into the bed, you have almost a queen size area to sleep in. So um, you're not stuffed or cramped or anybody that's gonna be using that area has plenty of room to sprawl out. Throw this together real quick. So 
And then, voila, it's time for bed. You see how giant the space becomes, especially if you would remove these two corners and you have a pretty spacious area. Uh, this is umbrella material, so super easy to clean, spill stuff on it, wipe it right off. I mean, I wouldn't go spill a bottle of red wine on it or anything like that, but this is a high quality RV material for durability and washability. Lines and stitching on these things are just top notch, especially when it comes to these formed pieces. All of our um, wood here is um, spray lacquered and then we actually clear coat the top of it with like an automotive uh, clear coat. So super easy to clean and wipe down if you ever, you know, same thing, spill that bottle of red wine on your, on your uh, cabinetry. And of all the things we've done, it seems our client's favorite feature of this entire trailer is this disco blue light special on the Furion stove. So this is a stove oven combo, so you get a cool little area to cook your brownies, cookies, pizza. Doesn't take up, you know, a ton of room. Cook the kitties some goodies. Right behind here is our Reparadise made light switch. And then with our toggle, brighten this place up a bit. Underneath the, the kitchen sink, we have a command center, which is pretty simplified, which runs our uh, electric powered awning. We have our tank monitor, water pump. <clears throat> we put in a, um, a battery kill switch here, low voltage disconnect. This is their table base, and this is your solar controller. So kind of hidden away all in all in one little unit. It's pretty slick. So yeah, uh, finishing up, you know, a couple of the other fun features that we've really been um, excited to install on a lot of these projects is the isotherm 12 volt fridges. Um, doing away with the three way really opens up a lot of space in the back of these refrigerators. So you they it might look like because you don't have a a ceiling to floor fridge that you're going to lose a lot of space, but you gain a lot of depth because of the compressor units in them are so small. So these guys actually go all the way back to about here. So you get an entire fridge depth instead of going back only 16 inches or so. And you see, we already stacked it. This is a side by side with a freezer next to it, but super highly efficient. I mean, we've been out here for a few days running this thing on 2.53 or so. And we've got 200 watts of solar on the roof, running our lights. We've got a stereo system in here and we haven't had any problems and this thing's been running, staying cold. You know, if you're doing away with propane and you want an all um, electric system, these guys are the way to go. And then kind of the last thing on the list, which is pretty awesome is, as you can see over the corners of the front lounge, we've got our uh, speaker and tweeter systems built into the wall made by uh, Earthquake Sound. They're out of California. We've been using their products for years now. Super happy with them. So this is a Bluetooth system. And then next to the door, we have our mixer. Uh, we've got a 10-inch uh, sub buried underneath the uh, front lounge. And pop that guy on right there. Hook up your Bluetooth. You can mess with all your gains right here. And if you need to, right underneath it, we've got a uh, USB port to keep your phone fully charged while you blast your tunes and uh, piss off your RV neighbors. So yeah, there you have it. It's another uh, Reparadise build, and this one's been a ton of fun. Love how open, airy, fresh, light, and bright this thing is. And yeah, we'll see you on the next build.